Sergeant at arm, post the collar. Armed. Order. Arm. I now would like Commander Kern of Branch for W. Kellogg Veterans of Foreign Wars, Post 872, and Commander Pike of American Legion, Post 338. Please escort the Gold Star Mother, Shirley O'Dell, and the VFW Pass Department Command, uh, President, uh, yeah. Julie Warren, for placing another wreath. Raise hand. Arm. Order. Arm. Will you please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? Let us pray. Almighty God, Father of us all, thy servants, turn to thee for, con for continuance of thy blessings among us. Those who have spared us veterans from the grasp of our enemies, grant us the full understanding of thy precious comfort. We thank thee for the privileges of life and the blessings we enjoy through thy graciousness in our country, the land in which we are given the freedom of speech, religion, and a pursuit of happiness. Assist us to know thee better, and that thou art the God of the universe and our idea. In thy mercy, may we the living find our peace. 
grant us from above this day the challenge of high endeavor, the beauty of a humble spirit, the strong courage and will, without exertion, to continue to glorify thee, praise thee, and love thee to the end of time. Amen. Again, I'd like to welcome everybody here to today's abbreviated service. I'd like to read, this is from the National Commander of the Veterans of Foreign War. His Veterans Day message to everybody. Happy Veterans Day to all those who have worn the nation's military uniform. November 11th is a special day reserved to recognize all American veterans. And while we also pause on Memorial Day in May to honor those who paid the ultimate sacrifice defending our nation, Veterans Day is distinct and different. Veterans Day recognizes our living veterans as well as those who have passed. It is time to celebrate the service of all veterans, and that includes those who are still on active duty, regardless of age or background, our military service binds us all, and that shared experience, that devotion to duty, is what we are honoring on Veterans Day. It will be more challenging to recognize Veterans Day this year as we are dealing with the isolation forced upon us by social distancing and local regulations. But that should not stop any of us from offering our thanks. Reach out to all veterans you know and tell them you appreciate their service. Pick up the phone, send an email, or broadcast the message on social media. Veterans Day, originally known as Armistice Day, has been celebrated in this country since November 11, 1918. Today, World War I ended. The national holiday was renamed Veterans Day in 1984 to honor World War II and Korean War veterans. This year would be a great time to reconnect with, every, with the World War II vets who, in September, celebrated the 75th anniversary of the end of that war. On behalf of the VFW, I extend my heartfelt appreciation for their courage, selfless duty, and sacrifice in nearly every corner of the war world during that cataclysmic event. A lot of veterans have observed or will recognize significant interest in anniversaries this year and next. Our Korean War vets marked the 70th anniversary of the beginning of their war in June. Our Vietnam War veterans, the VFW's largest demographic segment of members, are in the midst of observing the 50th anniversary of that war. Our Gulf War vets will celebrate the 30th anniversary of the beginning of Operation Desert Storm in January. And our Afghanistan war veterans will observe the 20th anniversary of the beginning of that war next fall. As veterans, we know that a phone call or a card on Veterans Day can mean a lot. Reach out and thank a vet on, veteran on November 11th and encourage others to do the same. Thank you. At this moment, I'd like to observe a 15-second moment of silence and a hand, and a hand salute. Raise hand. Arm. Okay, I'd like to uh, first of all start off by yesterday, November 10th, was the 245th birthday of the United States Marine Corps. I'd like to read a quote that was by President Ronald Reagan. Some people wonder all their lives if they've made a difference. The Marines don't have that problem. 
So from this proud squid to all you jarheads, Semper Fi, happy birthday. Thank you for your service. If anybody's noticed, there's another monument, a new monument up here, and this is for those who moved to Southward shortly after getting out of the service, and they've lived here for continuously for 40 years. But due to the, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the dedication for this monument will be done next year. Also, tonight at the American Legion at 5.30 p.m., there will be a flag retirement and everybody is invited to attend. Thank you. Let, okay, let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we ask thou wilt dismiss us with thy blessing and grant that we may continually experience the calmness and serenity of heart and soul which comes from thee. Make us useful servants of thine in all things. Amen. This concludes the abbreviated service. And I'd like to ask, like to ask the Sergeant Arms to retrieve the colors. Raise hand. Arms. Order. All right. Thank you again for attending today's services.